You've probably heard of the Big Bad Wolf before, but today I'm introducing you to the Not So Big Bad Wolf. Hi, I'm Elise from the blog LePetitSaintCrochet.com and I'm a super forgetful person so I want to make sure to let you know that you're going to find links for everything in the description box below so I'll be sharing where you can get the pattern as well as the playlist for the video tutorials as well. These are the second characters in my storybook series, The Three Little Pigs, and you might be able to tell there's actually four little pigs here, but one of these is a gift for someone that I know, so he will be leaving and going to his forever home really soon. And yes, I know that the classic story did not have two wolves, but I wanted to make them both, and I think that they both turned out super cute. One thing to know about this pattern is that it is a crocheted wolf body, but the clothing is knitted on double pointed needle. So if you're interested in getting this pattern and working on it, I highly recommend that you are an intermediate crocheter and an intermediate knitter. And I highly recommend having Amigurumi experience under your belt before you tackle these projects. You're going to find video tutorials in the pattern itself, but you'll also find a playlist here on YouTube for certain parts of the pattern that you might need a little bit of help with. So I wanted to make sure that you know that so you don't have to know how to do everything, but you do need to be comfortable with knitting in the round and also with crocheting amigurumi. If you already have the Three Little Pigs pattern, you will be able to substitute the clothing for the Three Little Pigs for the wolves and vice versa. So these clothes will fit on the pigs and the pigs clothes will fit on the wolf as well. So I wanted to show you what's different about the two of them. So there's an addition of a beautiful knitted scarf, which I really had fun making for this little guy. And for the Three Little Pigs, they had a turtleneck sweater and this one is a crew neck sweater and it is striped obviously. So I thought that was a really fun variation on the little sweater. The little pigs have short bloomers and for the not so big bad wolf I created long pantaloons which I think look really good as well and you've got the little tail back here. Maybe make a scarf for one of them and not for the other or make a turtleneck for him and long pants and the other one maybe have a striped sweater and short pants. You can do that. I experimented a ton with the Three Little Pigs and the Not So Big Bad Wolf as far as yarns are concerned. I used different brands of worsted weight yarns for the bodies and different brands of sport weight yarns for the clothing and I mix and match them all and everything worked together. So for the yarns, use whatever worsted weight yarn you like best. In the pattern, you're going to find the exact yarns that I used for the pigs and for the wolves as well. So if you wanted to get exactly what I have in the exact color, that I have, you can do that. But also just choose what works for you. But I want to make sure that you really look at the playlist that I have. And there's one video that's actually extremely important that's all about fit, tension, and double pointed needles. It's a really important part of this entire pattern because we all have different tensions when it comes to our crocheting and our knitting. And during the testing process, I discovered some really interesting things that you really need to be aware of. You may need to experiment with the size of your double pointed needles to make the clothing for your wolves. So just look at that video, especially if you're a little bit confused about what you need to do. It's all explained there and it's also in the pattern as well. I've been a huge fan of children's literature since I was a child myself and I love children's illustrators. And one of my very favorite ones is Tegan White and she really is the inspiration behind my little toys here. I was looking at some of her beautiful illustrations and I I just got this vision for the little pigs and I wanted them to be wearing cute little fall and wintry clothes and all of these ideas just started pouring into my head. And that's when I started to design the Three Little Pigs. After I released that pattern, someone on Instagram said, well, hey, what about a big bad wolf? And that just got the wheels turning again and I thought I need to do that. And that's how the not so big bad wolf came about. I've dedicated all of these patterns also to my stepdad, Steve, who really gave 
me the love for all things vintage and antiques. He collected antique toys as well as a lot of other antique things and I've inherited some of them. He inspired that love in me for all things old and from bygone days and I wanted these toys to look like they stepped out of a vintage children's book and I really hope that you get that sense as well. I just want to thank you all so much for your support. You'll find links for the pattern and the playlist in the description box below. And if you end up making your own three little pigs or a not so big bad wolf, please tag me on Instagram and share your photo with me. I would love to see them and to share them as well. And as always, stay safe out there and happy stitching.